Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be looking to the strongest PvP build in New World at the moment. There's a lot of really strong builds out there, so this may be subjective, but one that I really started to like within this last couple of days of coming back has been Rapier in Ice Gauntlet. I've played a ton of arenas, testing out different builds. This one seems to be the strongest. It has a ton of damage when it comes down to the Ice Gauntlet, and it gives you mobility with the Rapier. Here are two perks on the screen that's going to be very important perks to take with the ice gauntlet so you're gonna have critical strikes basically giving targets below 50 percent health inflict disease for six seconds reducing healing for 24 percent we also have the rapier as like i said that mobility option but you also want to take in tome on the ice gauntlet in case you do get in a sticky situation the entome actually has a perk that will heal you up to 29 percent which is huge as well, giving you a very big chance of survival with Entome plus the Rapier's abilities that we're going to be taking. So in today's video, I'm going to show you some clips, how they work and everything. But the biggest thing to note, guys, is I'm running about 590 to 605 gear score typically on this video, on these clips, and I'm still dealing a ton of damage when I can hit a spike. So there you saw Insta basically killing one of the people um, in that big cluster in group. And that's one thing I love about this build as well. It works great for groups as I do have um, not Ice Shower, but the Ice Storm. So we are going to see the abilities here with Ice Tempest. We're going to be taking a lot of the left side, but we are going to take in Tome on the right side. And uh, you can actually jump into your own game and copy those exact things if you want. We also have the abilities going to the attributes and the attributes are important because it's going to be all about getting to that 300 intelligence from there you're going to want to dump everything into constitution just having 300 intelligence 50 decks for that crit chance and then the like i said rest of it going into constitution i am also running medium armor 22.9 to be exact i do love that sticky situation with medium having three jumps but the biggest thing that i love about medium is obviously the damage reduction you're going to be able to have with having such great armor um, but you're going to be able to see how much damage we're able to do with medium armor it's really not distracting uh you know or really taking away much damage just because we're doing medium instead of you know light armor we see more positives typically with medium than light uh, you can see, like I said, how much damage you do in groups and clusters, but also solo or single target damage with the ice spike if you are able to hit it. It's a very difficult ability to hit, in my opinion, but it does, like I said, a ton of damage. So if you are good at this ability or you get good at this ability, you're going to have a lot of reasons to really like this build overall. But here you can see the Entome. Obviously, in most cases, you're going to use that when you're a little bit more under pressure and you need to use that to get out. But there is a lot of reasons why people are loving this build. And you can see here the light attacks too with the crit chance being so high. I just hit like three of four light attacks for a lot of damaging crit chance. Um, like I said, doing a lot of that. And that's really the main reason we're doing so much damage in a lot of these fights as well here you can see the rapier we're going pretty much the gray side just two blood passives as well but this is the big reason we're going that route we don't want to do that much damage with the rapier it's going to be mostly about the ice gauntlet doing a majority of our damage and you can see here how much the light attacks are doing if you are able to hit obviously uh, i'm missing as you know i'm kind of new to this new world 3v3 pvp as like i said I have taken a decent break from New World until just recently, hoping to come back for Brimstone Sands, testing out if this is something I want to get back into, as a lot of us really starting to like New World's kind of new implementations of PvP, new zones, new features, new UI, new really kind of bug fixes that just made this game so much better than it was before. So thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. I'll see you guys all in the next one, and I hope you good luck in the 3v3s.